Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Everybody Loves Tom. We are going to be recapping episodes 10 and 11, but before we get into that, we are actually 14 days away from our big uh, Season of Love tour, so make sure you get your tickets. I'm really excited about a lot of the cities we're going to, uh, including my hometown, St. Louis. So stoked. Um, but yeah, get your tickets now at TomSandovalOnTheMostExtras.com. And uh, I can't wait to see you guys out there on the road. We're going to have a camera crew with us. It's going to be awesome. But I'm really excited today because we got Kyle Chan back. Woo, welcome, Kyle. Yay. Yes. <laughs> and we have Goldie here. Goldie. Goldie. Woo, special guest. Big debut on the <laughs> podcast. So <he's> <laughs> excited. Wow, pearl necklace. Yeah, pearl and diamond. Beautiful. That's the only way to go. Kyle Chan You've exclusive You've given a few right pearl there. necklaces out. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, <and> Goldie. <laughs> Um, episode 10, so we missed last week, but we're here this week. Episode 10, which a lot of people have seen and we're talking about. It was a big episode to talk about. Oh, wow. Ooh, intense. A, a lot intense over it. Uh... Happened. <laughs> um, well, it, that's, that's, uh, that's how we roll, <laughs> apparently. We keep saying this every week, but it was the, I would say, the most intense, biggest. Started with um, Anne's interview while she was on the job <laughs> um, my question to you was you know you're upstairs in the gym she walks into work wearing like a pantsuit I thought, you know what, what I, were you thinking i initially thought because <laughs> and you know she does audition a lot yeah. she works uh which is great like it's awesome um you know so I figured that she was either putting herself on camera here mm. at some point or had to go to an audition <laughs> and come back um so that's kind of what I thought. I was like, hmm. At <laughs> uh, what point did you start snooping? <laughs> <laughs> well, like I heard her talking to Ariana. Mm -hmm. And obviously, you know, there's a camera crew here. <laughs> <laughs> um, what? Yeah. So. Well, I actually talked to Anne. Yeah, we had a, we had a pretty good um, conversation because I... Um, well, I wanted to clarify it because I always hear people saying that she got fired and she said she got fired and somebody said she didn't get fired and you said you didn't fire her. So then I I asked her because I can't just listen to what you say. You know how I am. If a doctor, <laughs> yes, if course, a doctor diagnosed me something, I will always go self-diagnose myself <laughs> online. Check another so, doctor. Yeah, so I wanted, I wanted to see all sides of the story. So I, I actually took the initiative to ask Anne what happened and she actually... You'd be, you, you'd be surprised. There's actually a lot of love there, and I love Anne, and I know you do too. Yeah. And it was, just, it was just in a very odd moment when all, these, like, all this shit hit the fan, and, and I think she, she, she definitely have, she told me she'd definitely have more joy than, than the sad time working for you. Yeah. But nobody in the world could handle that kind of dynamic when you and Ariana, it's not in a good place, and she's the one who's like being the messenger. Yeah. So it's uh, she definitely in a very tough position at that time, and and nobody wants to be on the wrong side of the history. So yeah, of it's course. normal if she wanted to go with the, uh, you know, to, yeah, with yeah. Ariana to give it a shot. So when I asked her, she basically told me that you did not officially fire her. You basically go. After you were heard what happened, you got upset, and then you go, let's take a break. Mm -hmm. And then, according to Anne, you didn't call her. And I said, did you call Tom? And she said, she didn't either. She just assumed she was being fired. Mm -hmm. But it was never an official fire or not fire. It kind of was one of those things, yeah, I guess, where I told her to go home for like, you know, I said, go home, and I thought about it. Obviously, we're busy, too, filming. But I just was like, you know, myself, like, you know, I'm hiring you, you're on the clock, and you go, like, interview with Ariana, like, while here, you know, working for me. Yeah. I just was like, maybe, you know, and also, like, not having many people, like, on my side or in my court, like, you know, I, I'm like, you're publicly humiliating me. Yeah. I, I felt like maybe, like, she could have hit me up and maybe apologized for that. Like, at least go, like, away. Like, yeah, I felt really stupid. I felt like an idiot. I felt, you know, I was, it was embarrassing. Yeah. It was really embarrassing. It was humiliating. Yeah. And so, I, I don't know, like, I guess we just, like, never, like, talked. 
you know? Yeah, because you guys really have good relationship like yeah. prior to that. So Yeah, I think people need to remove the scandal out of it. If your employee was interviewing for another job at work, you would be upset. Yeah. I think everybody would. You're, you have With employees. Like, like, <laughs> if my employee did that, I don't work, know. I think you would be upset. I don't like know if, what I would do. Yeah. Well, you know what? I heard Anne own it, like in many public platform, and that she said maybe she made a wrong decision. So she, she, she's quite a girl that she'll own it up. Yeah, that's so, cool. And she said at the reunion to me that, that she does care about you. And, I know I care um, about her as well. I hope she's yeah, doing great. And she's doing great. Her podcast is funny. I listened to a couple of episodes and I congratulate her. And I think, yeah, I think, I think maybe as a boss, you should have taken more initiative, even though like after a few days, you might be, have to, you know, supposed to be a bigger person after a week. Go, hey, yeah. if we end it there, then wish you all the best. <laughs> also like... But then she filed unemployment. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> File for unemployment. I'm just like, okay, well. Well, yeah. the love is there. I think, according to my investigation, I think the love is there. And she just doesn't, I, I don't think she wants public hate. And I think she just wanted to pick the right side of the history, I guess. But working for Ariana or not, she said, she told me that she supposed to work at the sandwich shop, but it's not open yet. So she has not been getting any money coming in. So. Oh, that sucks. Yeah. But other than that, I think, like I said, the love is there. And, and I know that you like you love her too. So yeah, it's good. Yeah. Well, we wish Anne the best of luck, obviously. We love her. Yeah, yeah um, listen to her podcast. Yeah. I sign an NDA. <laughs> <laughs> um, moving on the, from, to the water tasting. I, I have a question. What is, you know, because I think when people think water tasting, it's silly, but I think we all have preferences in what water we prefer. What are your, if you were to buy a water bottle, what is the, your preference? It comes in a light beer can. <laughs> That's my preference. Is it Coors Light? Probably. Right. <laughs> or Bud Light or whatever. Any, any, any sort of light, light beer? beer yeah. I what, prefer a glass bottle. A glass bottle? Yes. And what, what, what Tall kind of? and skinny. Is that what it's called? No, I, if any? I have a choice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would, I would prefer my, my bottle in the, in the glass bottle. Chilled. Chilled. Obviously. Definitely. Yeah. I think I'm a smart water. I like artesian water. Artesian? Yeah. What, what brand could you get that's artesian? Um, I think Fiji. Ah. Fiji's good. Um, they actually sometimes, uh, I found a couple vodkas that actually used artesian water. Could you taste the difference? Yeah. Do you know any of that or any companies that have that? Um, I think Beluga or, oh, um, in, I can't remember. I think, in, I don't know. Beluga was one of them, I think, that used it. Interesting. On yeah. the East Coast, I we had Poland Spring. Oh, yeah. In New York. Poland Spring. I think that's my favorite water. Poland's I great. Poland Spring's great. That's, I think, my favorite tasting water. Yeah. Also, smart water I really like. But at the water tasting, could you really? Oh yeah, you could taste could the keep difference. Keep up with it, especially like Was it silly? I guess it's like different pH, uh, different like there's like salinity levels mm -hmm. uh, that can kind of create like a almost a sparkling effect um, without it being sparkling. Yeah. Um, like wow. that one water that he would shake up and it would get murky. Like that had like a little bit of higher salinity, Whoa. different pH. I would say when you're buying a $2,000 bottle of water, I think you're paying for maybe like the lack of microplastics in it. <laughs> yes, I think so too. Uh, when he was talking about how like two springs meet together, I was like, are they going to cue like when two become one by the Spice yeah. Girls? <laughs> when two become one and show the making of the like. The I don't know. Yeah, I could just see that guy like finding that and just putting out like a water bottle, like, oh, got it. Two springs are coming together, and here you go. That's two thousand dollars. <laughs> yeah, like is that always? Uh... But it's I've seen that guy on TikTok before. Really? Yeah, and he gets a lot of views. Wow. So people are clearly into uh, designer water. Yeah. I wow. mean, I guess people get people some like trendy it. like Harry Potter glasses on. Were they like perfect circles, kind of? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Like, yeah. He, it's a look. It's yeah. like a very, um, not Derek Zoolander, but there's like a character. It's like an SNL character. Yeah. Oh, like the like. sprockets. Yes. 
It feels oh, Mike Myers. Yes, yes, ex- exactly. It feels like an SNL character, that guy. Yeah, but he's real. But he's real. Um, but that. Uh, but event... if he found out he was like born and raised in Jersey. <laughs> yeah, right. He's like, I'm from Kansas. Um, but that okay. event at James's house led us into really, I think, the first really big blow up between you and Ariana so far this season. Yeah, man, I was uh, uncomfortable. Yeah, when you, they're eating pizza at the dining room table, it was kind of everybody but you, and Katie and Tom were outside, and were you were you kind of figuring out, okay, should I go out with Tom and Katie, or should I kind of listen? Where, what, where, what was your head at well, at I the was, moment? I was trying to figure out the Rance dressing situation. <laughs> That's what that's I was what trying. I'm like, I got a chance to be a hero in this. <laughs> I got to take any chance I get. You, you know what, what I mean? Like, because people were looking for ranch. Yeah. So I was like, ah, that's I'm like, so funny. I can find ranch, you know? <laughs> so I was trying to figure that out. And yeah. I was walking by and then I hear like, you know, the shit talking. Yeah. And I'm just like, okay, no, this is not like. Well, when you're called a dog murderer, there's only so much I think you could really let that slide i think yeah because that's that's, that's not a, a that's great a accusation. that's a really messed up thing to say yeah. about somebody yeah um yeah i uh so obviously that escalated and i'm just like i gotta get out of here you know yeah that really escalated quickly yeah it really did but it really you know you handle yourself pretty good. You did. <laughs> yeah. Because it could have been a lot of back and forth yelling. Yeah. But you were not. That's not the first time that that's happened. So. <laughs> yeah. I, guess, I mean, you, you really were taking it and then we we're just like, all right, I'm going to get out of here. And it, yeah. Yeah. I, and then at one point she was like, I'm going I'm, to, I'm calling the police. And I, I know, I missed that part. <laughs> yeah. And I was wondering, it looks like she was dialing. And I was like, I wonder if she's really calling the police. And if she did, what would she have said? Like, he won't, he's here and talking to me. Arrest him right now. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I wonder what that would have been like. We're filming a reality show and having an argument. <laughs> <laughs> Not even really having an argument. In Los Angeles. <laughs> the, the only thing I remember was second of all. Yeah. That was the, epic. The screaming that was second of all. Though. Yeah. Yeah, there was a lot of rage there. That but hey, I don't know. I don't know. It was Hey, at uh, least you got a conversation in finally. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, right. Cuz there was there earlier in the season you were you, when you did try to talk to Ariana, she just kind of ignored you or kind of said like talk to my lawyer or Did blah, I say blah, blah. something about the lawyer in that conversation? You I think you were saying maybe like at that point I'd uh, sent an email and I yeah. hadn't heard back in Two months. Mm-hmm. You know, normally when you send a lawyer an email, yeah, they reply said, back. They reply back really quickly, and they say, "Hey, I got your email. We're gonna need some time. I'm gonna need to talk to my client. Whatever. Yeah, this has been received. This has been received. Yeah. Nothing. Yeah. No reply. Well, yeah. What, what do you? You have no idea what is going I was on. Just at that like, point. okay. Yeah. All right. Guess we're roomies. Whew, yeah, <laughs> you sure are. <laughs> Sitcom. Um, yeah, that was pretty uh, pretty wild. And I think people, well, the cast, normally when fights like that happen in the, ca- in the cast, they're a part of it or they're on one person's side or they were quiet and looking down. Yeah, no. They could feel and the audience could feel that they could feel. The vibration of like the uncomfortable. yelling. Yeah, like almost like when mom and dad are yelling. You know, when somebody yells and you feel like <laughs> almost like a vibration from it. Yes. Yeah. I think it's the, like, like you could see like Lala and Sheena just like looking down to their plate and being like, oh, pizza. Oh. I mean, so you could tell how intense that was. Yeah. Um, and then I like how they were cutting back out to Katie. It's worth be like, are they yelling? Oh, they're, they're screaming at each other. Yeah. <laughs> like that totally interrupted their talk, which was kind of like an intense talk because it was the first time they were really talking about Max and Katie. Yeah. For the first time. Which, by the way, I thought it was kind of funny that, like, Katie was giving Schwartz, like, shit about his outfit. And, yeah. like, I got to say, I don't know. Katie's outfit was, like, maybe, I think, Katie sometimes, she she, she, she sometimes hits it. She sometimes hits it. Um, 
That was probably one of my least favorite outfits that I've ever seen. I think I've that's her seen. pool party outfit. That is, <laughs> was awful. That was the worst outfit I've ever seen I'm on her, to, I think. Was it kind of I would like have a to long, say it was a long like a t-shirt with a like lingerie on it with a jean jacket over it. With a it. jean jacket, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I, I was I not a fan for the first time. Maybe I'm Usually only, she uh, killed it. Like she has a lot of like cool outfit that I really enjoy. But that one's questionable for me. I th I thought it was the pool party theme. So. And what were people yeah. calling Schwartz like the uh the, like the elf on the shelf? Yeah. Because he had like the kind of green and then he had kind of the long. I did not like that outfit either. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Schwartz. I did not like that. I wonder where he got outfit. that. I like the green. I just didn't like these bold like stripes. Like yeah, I, th out, I think it's the, an the outfit outline. you need a little like you need to like have some color. Like it, it kind of yeah. washed them out a little bit. It was like a bright Tony Soprano shirt. Like, yeah, you know, like those old like, like but like need to be short sleeve. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, yeah. it looks a little bit like <laughs> Tony and, Soprano shirt, but like a bright one. Yeah. You know, like those old kind of mafia, like 1960s Like it's shirts. like if Tony Soprano was like, this is my disco shirt. Yeah. Like, going out, <laughs> going out with the boys. Yeah. Going out with the boys Nike. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Um, that's really funny. Um, and then the beach day. Beach day. The, <sighs> I thought it was... It, was crazy that from the fight we go to now yes beach day you guys all together more fights yeah but it, uh, i really thought there was going to be some distance for a while between you and ariana but i was kind of happy that everybody was kind of coming back i thought okay they blew off some steam let's yeah. take a breath but you guys came together really quickly and now maybe there's some gr we're gonna it's okay i let it all out where, yeah. But no, the the anger is still there. But hey, it's her anger. No, uh, I, I, get I, mean? I get it. I get like, it. I mean, obviously, that's you know, that, that was in what end of July, August. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I know, right, Goldie? I I agree. <laughs> um. Yeah, it was. <sighs> Beach day is always interesting. You know, I feel like we have one every year, at least one. Yeah. And there's always something. It's always something. I remember the first beach day. Jack told me to my face. <laughs> I don't even remember. That him and Kristen were... Oh, no, that was... No, that was season two. But that was our first beach day. He told me that him and Kristen were hooking up. And that's... Uh, oh, yeah, that is it. Uh, that was on a beach up. day. Ugh, I know, Jeez, man. Get something to the mountains. The sand. Far away. The opposite. <laughs> Head, I'd love to go to the mountains. Headies. I'd love for us to go snowboarding. <laughs> yeah. That'd be so awesome. Snowboarding, skiing, being at the lodge, being in the cabin. Like, yeah. I know. It's, it's really hard cool. in the summer, but yeah, go in a, far away from the beach. Um, um, yeah, it was. Um, but it, was, it, it is really good whenever the group is together, even though there's going to be problems. It just reminds me of classic Vanderpump of you guys together. Yeah, like when we're, when we're at... Uh, when we're at uh, sir, you know, we're forced to be around each other. Yeah. That's when all the interesting things happen. I know, but like it just... Like at Pride. But doesn't it remind you of classic Pride? Pride is always fun. It's Pride is so said, fun. Oh, I don't know. Some ambushes on Pride. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody's drunk. Yeah. yeah. I wish they still shot when Pride was going on. Well, Pride's not... Pride... Uh, there's West Hollywood Pride now and In LA gym. Pride. Yeah, there's yeah. two. It's kind of like separate now, which kind of ruined it. But what do you think? Yeah, everybody wants to make some money. <laughs> yeah. The city wants to make money. But West, West Hollywood Pride is so fun because you guys could hop around to the different, you know, yeah. Tom Tom or the Sir, and yeah. it just gets so crazy. And it's also kind of close to each other. Yeah. Well, That's two the real months. classic. I know. I just, yeah. Um, but then Beach Day kind of goes south kind of quickly. Yeah. As, as it's to do. Um, <laughs> Where, and again, what, why do you think that went south? Because well, Anne was brought up, the dog was brought up. Yeah. All I mean, of these I, things kind of. Obviously, you know, I, I, I don't know what was going to happen with Maya. Um, you know, Maya's with Ariana. Because it was talked about who, somebody asked who were the animals going to go with. Mm-hmm. 
I had an idea I, I thought was actually pretty smart. I figured we could just get like a chainsaw and cut her in half. Yeah, I mean, you bought that chainsaw for a reason. Yeah. I mean, now what are, you, what are we going to do with just it? Just cut it, cut Maya in half. Yeah, but then to figure out who's going to keep the front of her, the back of I her. Definitely, or... I'll, I'll, take the, I'll take the back. Okay, that's a concession. The front would probably be better. Yeah. Um, yeah, and then... Again, Wait, you... are you gonna fight her for Maya? <laughs> <laughs> no, um, I think maybe you should no, allow her to have Maya. No, I'm not. I've, no, I've, 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 that far, I've g- I gave Ask up. Ask for visitation. I g- no. no, I gave up. Maya did sleep at my feet every night, though. Well, you should still visit her. Maybe when things calm down, ask her if you can visit Maya. Because you you adopted her together, even though she paid for. But still, you adopted. It's not like when you started dating Ariana. It's like she the had Maya. one bill that she paid. No, I know, but you adopted her together. We did. We did. So it's the, we picked her together. We adopted her together. Right. So it's not even like she came into the relationship with like didn't she come in with with Kitty? Kitty and Charlotte. Yes. Right. So, so I think that there's like a little that, that's yeah right that she. At least you could say hello to the dog. I mean, I don't know. I would be upset if that were me. I don't know. Yeah, it is. It's upsetting. Yes, it must be upsetting. I, well, I, I, it is. It's, but you're it's trying nice. to be. You I'm know, trying. Yeah, you're I, trying. I you're trying. Yeah, which is which is you know commendable. Um, well, going into episode eleven, we have Beach Day continued, where you kind of are like, "Hey, I'm gonna get out of the situation." Yeah. And you go. And me and uh, Schwartz just kind of you know hung out while everybody else did their thing and. You know, steer clear of them. Um, Brock st- stood up for you, which is cool. Yeah, that was awesome to see. Um, I appreciate that, Brock. Um, yeah. Yeah, I mean, we had, it, was a, it was a pretty fun day, actually. You know, we were just hanging out, being social. Yeah. I've been to that bar before. I forgot the name of it now. Uh, um, waterfront. Yeah, Waterfront. Yeah. It's cool. It's a fun Bunch spot. Bunch of different rooms and stuff. Some good cocktails. Yeah, if you guys haven't stuff. been there, check out the Waterfront. It's a cool spot in... Uh, was it Venice, I think? Yeah, right in Venice, right on the water there. Yeah. I think they have, a, like, a cool, like, daytime Saturday yeah, very thing. very cool daytime Especially stuff. this time of year is, like, mm-hmm. it's starting to, like, pick up. Um, but, yeah, we just kind of did our thing. Um, had fun. And, uh, yeah. You know? Didn't... Wait. Did Schwartz... That's where... Did him and... Uh, Tori. Tori, like... Make out that day or something? I think that's where they kind of kissed and were kind of flirting. Okay. And But I don't think that really went anywhere. Yeah, they went on a date. <laughs> they did. Yeah. Um, but I don't think that really went anywhere. <laughs> I don't really see the chemistry there. Me neither. I didn't really see the chemistry Me even between neither. her and Katie. Me neither. It, it felt, felt performative. Forced. It yeah, felt very performative. Per- very performative. Very forced. Um, very aware. You know? Like cameras. Yeah. Yeah, a little bit. A little bit. Yeah. Um and I and almost it felt very aware that they were both seeing this person. You know what I mean? Or like like Tori was gonna be seeing these two people. Yeah. You know, like I'm gonna, you know, see both of these people who used to be married. Yeah. In a way. Um and then Joe reaches out to Lala to get hot dogs. And I, <laughs> I thought date, which again, like I, we talked about this before on the podcast and Kyle, I'm curious what you think about this too. Yeah. Um, I think that sometimes that they're, when there are characters on the show, yeah. cast mates on the show who kind of get together, who are like, have the most opposite energy. It's kind of interesting to see. And I think Jojo and Lala, oh, gee, Jojo, Joe and Lala yeah. are two people who are like, could not be more opposite, but when they get together, it's kind of like, it's what's going on here. Yeah. What's going on here. I feel like. There's an interesting dynamic there because I think Lala, it, it looks pretty obvious now that, that Lala and Sheena is sort of like in one group and, mm-hmm. and Katie and, and Ariana is one, in one group. I feel like that might be, Lala wanted to be a good friends to Katie and, and Ariana, mm-hmm. but somehow I think there's this unspoken rules there with, with Katie. Like if you're friends with me, you can't go lunch with with Jojo. Right. But with, then, Joe. with Joe. With Joe. With Joe. Oh my god, yeah, you're getting into think Jojo. <laughs> anyway, so 
and I, I have to rewatch it again and trying to understand what they're fighting about. Then I realized that Katie said, "You're close with me, so you shouldn't be going to a hot dog date with yeah. with Joe." But Lala was saying. She said she has something to say and she wants to say it in front of my face. So obviously I go out and have a hot dog with her. Yeah. I'm not going out Friday night, you yeah. know, having, having, you know, fun time with her. We it's just like a daytime sit yeah. down. But it, yeah. it somehow feels like you need to get a permission if you're within this friend group. Right. Otherwise, it will consider a betrayal again or not loyal. Right, right. So then they're, they're quite quite a lot of rules there to, to have to follow in order to be their friends, friends with Katie. Yeah. Yes. Right. So with Lala's personality, she's, she's not trying to be on your side. I think a lot of audience got, got it wrong. She will still give it to you. As yeah. Is. She will still say, I don't like the way you move. I don't like your hair. I don't like yeah. whatever, you know, whatever you say. It, it doesn't write her the right way. She just wanted to say what's right for her. Yeah. Also, you know, I mean, Schwartz has even said this too. It's like, you know, with Katie, like, especially with being friends with her, like, she also expects you to like, if she doesn't like somebody, you can't like her. If she's like mad at somebody, you have to be mad at them. Like, it's very much like, uh, it's, I mean, Didn't she un, uh, like, unwa like unquestioning, unwavering loyalty. That is not a healthy relationship no, with not. anybody. <laughs> But I was like, <laughs> what are the rules that people give Katie? I bet she wouldn't be friends with someone who gave her that, those rules. Maybe we should ask for the handbook. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> who wants to be friends with someone like that? Maybe we can apply for it. Yeah. Do as I say, not as I do. Yeah. <laughs> it's very, uh, like, middle school. Yeah. It's very immature, I think. I think so, too. I don't know, personally. I just think it's... Uh, it's not sustainable. No. It's not. Especially with, um, with Lala's personality, that's not going to work. Yeah. Because she wants to do her own thing. She wants to feel how she feels. She wants to speak her mind. Yeah, and also she like... She can't just follow what you want her to say. Yeah, and as Lala said, it's not like she's coming into the group being like, va, 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 I'm coming for your man. Like, you know, like that... She's not Joe. Yeah. That's not what she's trying to do at all. Yeah. So I think that she's not a threat yeah. to any of those people. I think if anything, she's just trying to come in and just trying to not be made fun of when she comes to events and trying to be friendly and maybe trying to reintroduce herself or and maybe just also correct. sort of explain like her side of yeah the situation. absolutely yeah a hundred percent and um when you guys go to the singles event with schwartz and joe didn't didn't joe yeah Talk about how he went on a date with Tori, and didn't he talk tell? Well, didn't yes. he tell? So didn't he I tell skipped. Joe that mm -hmm. they like kissed? I went when he was getting his yeah blonde. When he was getting his hair done. When he was getting okay, his hair. so when he's getting his hair done, he yes. talks about how he went on a date, how they kissed. Yeah, so she's aware they're not together, they're not in a relationship. So mm. why? And and even like at this point, from what I remember, and I asked Schwartz this, I was like, "What? Yeah, obviously he's my friend." I'm like, "Yo, like what's?" What's up with you guys? He's like, yeah, we're like, we're more, f we're friends now. Like we haven't yeah. hooked up in a while. Like we don't do, like, we're not doing that anymore. And I think like, you know, I don't know. It seems a little bit like Joe's trying to sell something that wasn't happening. Yeah. And I think that's, that happens a lot in relationships where one person thinks th it, that something was more than the other person does. And it feels like it was because Tom was, it seems like he was pretty clear with it by saying, by being honest, being open. Hey, yeah, I went out with Tori, we hooked up. I've been hooking up with people. I've been going on dates. Yeah. And maybe he felt like I was honest with her. She must be okay with it. But Joe, although hearing that was not okay with it. Yeah. I think he forgets sometimes people need a little time to digest. That also. So you need maybe, to go cold turkey. Yeah, maybe yeah. after you go, we should just be friends. Then you can't you say give like, it a time. Like, let's not. So I'll pick hang you up tonight. <laughs> yeah, right? yeah, yeah. So you can't just go right away back into like, you know, a yeah. single night all together. Yeah. It will it, be difficult for her to do. I remember yeah. when you know, obviously, I didn't invite. Uh, you know, I didn't invite Joe because I met I met this that girl Laura that put on the singles event. She's yeah. super cool. Uh, her and her boyfriend were actually at uh, Schwartz and Sandy's last night. Um, I met her. 
I went out one night by myself, um, literally so like these are one of those things where I was like doing things to kind of push myself out of my comfort zone. Yeah. One of those being going out in LA by myself sober, not drinking yeah. and just like forcing myself to get in the mix and meet people. And I met that girl, Laura, and she started to, I threw a, a girl, uh, Brooke, who you guys might have seen on Vanderpump Rules. She used to work at Sir. She used to be a manager there. Um, but uh, I saw her. I was like, oh, Brooke, what's up? I haven't seen you in a while. Brooke DJs now. Um, and she introduced me to her friend, Laura, who runs a singles night at Sky Bar and other places. And so, um, you know, I was talking to her and I was like, hey, this would be great, like, to – to film and like to do it like so i told production about it we did it but i obviously invite kyle you know i invite craig and schwartz who is single and the last thing i want him to do is bring <laughs> joe and when joe showed up i probably even said something to kyle i was like really annoyed yeah he, i was fucking he, he annoyed. told me that he invited joe he told her about it and she said she wanted to come or something oh right but i knew yeah. i knew that it was gonna be more of like a, like keeping an eye on him type thing or like. Yeah. Well, cause I think Joe Schwartz was just telling Joe what he was doing later and Joe's like, oh, can yes. I come? Or, or Schwartz Something was probably like, like, oh, do you wanna come? Thinking, oh, do you, you know wanna go Schwartz to meet is. people? Not yeah. do you wanna come as like my date. Yeah. Do you wanna go to meet guys? And Joe was literally like marking him. Right, yeah. Cause even in that scene. Like if you're with a girl yeah. and she's fixing your hair. You're, right. She fixed her hair for like, at least 10, 15 minutes oh, yeah. nonstop. And she put her arm <laughs> That's around. That's when I say something. But she fixed her, camera, his hair. His hair. Like and then minutes. she like, I think she put her arm around him too. Yeah. And the hat, they're like with, playing with her yeah. hats, right? I think something like that. Yeah. 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 No, it, it, it you know, was not helping. And then she like storms off and he has to like, what is he going to do? He can't like, even if they're friends, he's going to go check on her, you know? Yeah. It takes him away from being in that moment of trying to meet people. Um, by the way, did we like Schwartz's blonde? I did really. I liked it. I really liked it when we yeah. went when we went paintballing, which happens. I know. Like I know when he yeah. got it done. When he got it done, actually, they were filming like, and they like they ran out of time, <laughs> so like he didn't get to tone it as much the first oh, really? time. That's why I was a little off. They yeah. just yeah. ran out of. I time. I didn't like it the first time. I liked it the second time. Yeah, but it looked great. It wasn't their fault at all. Like literally, he had to like. Get out of the chair and fucking leave. Oh, jeez. Yeah. So, um, yeah, but it was, uh, it was, um, it looked good. I liked it. I thought it was cool. Yeah. Well, I was gonna say we went paintballing after that, and that's the first time I saw him with it, and I thought it was awesome. Yeah. I really thought he looked very cool with it. Yeah. And um, by the way, I do, I do love gear, and I do have a bunch of paintball shit. Dude. The problem, the funny thing is, is like. We, I went paintballing like, oh my God, it was like 10 years ago. And maybe even a little long, longer, I can't remember. And I bought, and I got really into paintball. I was like, yeah, I'm gonna like fucking get a team, get sponsorship, all this stuff. I got all this gear and like, oh, and then like, it's so funny. Like I'm like, I get to finally use my paintball gear that I bought like eight years ago, nine years ago, whatever. And like, and then I get there and like my gun like, is like leaking air and what? <laughs> you rolled up with so much gear, I like a, a huge duffel bag. I had, I like had at least two duffel bags. Oh my god! You, because I, I, I remember saying like, oh, I have my own stuff, and think like, oh, maybe he has like a, a, some pads and a gun. But you, it looked like you were like a professional. Oh, I had like full on. I have three guns, including uh, a. a, a handgun pistol i have like three force-fed <laughs> hoppers i had like um you know pods you know those like tons of pods at least like yeah. 20 of those two pod cases two other big you know main paintball guns uh you know knee pads elbow pads chest pad pants uh, Jersey fucking yeah, it was, mask. It was crazy. And <laughs> I, I, so I went with my wife, Kimmy yeah. and we, before, cause I was like, I don't have anything. There was like a Kmart right by where it is. Yeah. We went, I bought like a sweatshirt and some sweatpants. Cause I was like, I want it like padding. Cause it hurts when you get hit. Yeah. And it was what? Like 95 degrees. It that was day. so Maybe like It was 104 hot. degrees. Oh, yeah, 104 degrees it up there. It was so hot. It was like an hour away from LA, like in the desert. So 
freaking hot. Um, and I remember Kimmy was like one of the only girls to play. And I remember her. She was on your team. Yeah. I remember there was a. I got to give her some credit. She lasted she, through the end. She went through the end, and there were a bunch of times where she was the last one left on the other team. And I remember thinking, like, oh my god, she's like the last one. Like, <laughs> there were like five dudes just trying to get her. Be like, oh god, I hope she's okay. <laughs> but she's she's a tough cookie. I ca- um, I kept getting intense. out early. Yeah, she did. She did well. She did so, well. She's just so competitive. Yeah. But um, it got really intense though. Though it was a because t- you know why. I don't know who brought them or who knew them, but there were like four or five guys who were like ringers. They were they were like professional um, uh, paintball players who like came, and they were so good. They were really cool dudes, but yeah. they were um, they were really good. But they kind of like when we split up on teams. I was on James' team, and they oh. were like some on our team, some on your team. Yeah, and they were really really good. So it kind of evened everybody. It out. was like I think my buddy Gage. Yes, friend. and his friends, but they like yeah. play there all the time, and they yeah. knew the, the course was so cool. And um, I kept I got out early because I kept like your gun kept messing up. I remember my right? gun messed up, but also um, I kept. You had some GoPros. I, I did, but I I kept kind of charging towards the front, like being like really gutsy, and yeah, and I was just getting lit up. Yeah, I was like, I'm gonna go for it. Yeah, go for that f- further bunker, like closer. It was so fun. I've been trying, had been trying to get us to go paintballing for so long. Yeah, I'm like, surprised. This it was, was the first it time. It was actually a lot of fun. It's my first time. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, it hurts. It kind of feels it was, like it, if you haven't been shot by a paintball, it feels like this. It feels like. Like a sting, exactly. Yeah, it it's feels like like, like that. Yeah, it hurt yeah. quite a bit. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, we got we have bruises. I mean. Yeah. And you know what? It's actually, uh, it's actually kind of like, um, like your shoes. If you go ping pong, you want to wear spikes for sure. Yeah. But also, you want to wear some shoes that you're not going to get back in your car with because they get gross. You're gross. stepping on all the paint. There's all these paintballs. And then they, what happens is the paintball is kind of like soap paint. It's like a soap paint. Yeah. And like, there's all these paintballs that sit by bunkers and you step in them and they've been sitting in the sun. So they dehydrate and they become this gross oh, slime. Exactly. exactly. Slime. Exactly. It. It's really disgusting. Yeah. You know who was there who I didn't even realize who he was, but he was, he was really nice. Kristen's boyfriend. Oh yeah, oh. yeah. Um, Luke. 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 Yeah, he yeah. was on Luke's our awesome. team, and I, I was like talking to him a bunch, and I was like, oh. And then somebody said, oh, that's Kristen's boyfriend. I was like, oh my god, what a nice guy. <laughs> yeah, he was Luke. really cool. Dude, we've yeah, hung out him. with him uh, a bunch of times at like Foxfire. Played yeah, darts with him. He's, he's good at darts. Really? Yeah. Yeah, he was really a really really nice. He's good guy. at a lot of things. He's crazy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. He seems really. He was very nice. Um, but yeah, that was a really um, fun day out there. And it seemed like another just yeah. kind of like guys bonding, you know, like you, Brock, James. It would have been funny if Sheena and, and Lala would have actually gotten out there and played, though. It I would... cannot imagine. <laughs> right? <laughs> so funny. She would have been like, oh, my God, I can't. Th- this is my. Th- th- th-. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, well, she says she yeah. has a modeling gig the next day. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Where is that again? Um <laughs> But yeah, but then it, it the the episode ends with Joe and Schwartz kind of. I know that was really playing. sad to watch. It was, and I'm seeing a lot of people online having kind of an emotional reaction to it that they weren't expecting to have, and yeah. I think a lot of us had that because it's like an emotional side of Joe that people I think didn't see um, before on the show, and uh, it's hard. I think we've all been there, maybe where maybe one person had more feelings than the other person yeah definitely i think he should literally just give her a little time after you go hey we should take a break then you should totally take a break not like hey let's go single night single nights out together it's yeah. not a good idea yeah not a good idea that was not a good idea but is it just me or or remember at one point when she said um when she said we could easily get really old old and ugly like, yeah, like married grow old and together. Grow old together yeah and then she's like what do you think and then shorts is like 100 percent. but then i saw him <laughs> shaking his head when he said 100 yeah. percent. he goes 100 <laughs> percent." i was like dying after we wine watch it again i'm like yeah he was shaking his head when he, he did said know, right he's like 100 percent. so if you want to rewatch it wow it will help out rating and then you'll find it really really funny 
So I wasn't we could, like, sure. Grow, we could grow old and gray and disgusting together. He goes, hundred <laughs> percent. Oh my god, that is so. It funny. was it was very subtle though, but you could see it like hundred percent. He took it one second before he said, and he's like, hundred percent. Oh, oh my, god, my god, that's hilarious. That's funny. Um, yeah. So that's that. Recap done. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Is there anything else you guys you guys have? <sighs> no, Kyle, you were in it. You were in the episode. Yeah. Yeah, it was it was it was funny to watch myself and I got to say like don't touch his hair <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah well that singles, night, that singles night was fun it was fun LA yeah area. so yeah if you guys are in the uh, LA area check out on Instagram check out at la.singles um, follow that website they'll show you locations a lot of times they do it at Skybar which was my first yeah. job in LA. I love that place. Such a fun place. You um, might find that girl who wanted to kiss um, Schwartz. Can we cover that a little bit? <laughs> yes. Yeah. They said she looked like Snooky. And just <laughs> no. for the record, for the record, she's not my friend. There's an article <laughs> that came out and saying that was my friend. I'm like, what? I don't know her. Oh, the Brazilian okay. girl that yeah. uh, kissed Schwartz? Yeah. Singles night? Oh, she really was eating, her, eating his mouth. She's like, oh, yeah. Yeah, that, she was really into him. That little makeout slut, Schwartz. Yeah. Well, geez, that guy. He's a low makeout slut. Yeah. That's where he probably is right now. I'm not, I'm not <laughs> no, I'm just joking. Um, all right. Well, uh, before we go, come see us on tour. Yes. Starts April 24th. April 24th through... In Minnesota. Eight, through uh, Minnesota. Schwartz is going to be at that show. Schwartz is going to be at that first show. Oh, I want to yeah. go. Yeah. You should come. I don't know if I can go. I think I'll be in Hawaii. Hawaii. On the April, April 24th. 23rd. 23rd. I just 24th. got back to LA on, on 22nd. Well, the show's on the 24th. Let me see what I can do. Yeah, it's going to be very fun. <laughs> all right. Um, but yeah, we're going to be Make all it over. A party. It's going to be a party. We're going to be all over the country. Uh, go to Tom Sandoval, the most extras dot com for tickets. Uh, there's going to be meet and greets at every show. We got new merch. Yes. We um, got it's new season songs. Season of Love. Season of Love. It's going to be amazing. So come on out. Buy tickets. It's going to be amazing. Yeah, we got a lot of um, new songs. We're, we're, uh, yeah, a lot of really very exciting ones. I cannot and we're wait. We're still doing watch party. Every we watch Tuesday. parties. Yeah. Yes, watch party Schwartz at Schwartz and Sandy's. and Sandy's. Come by. Yes, I'm there. Schwartz is there. Come say hi. And you can ask questions. <laughs> very yes. difficult questions. Oh yes. man. Oh yeah. <laughs> That's that. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, guys, and we'll uh, we'll see you next time.